Howdy folks, it's 10.45 a.m. on Wednesday, December 30, 2020. Uh, looking at a little Christmas tree decoration over there in the corner. And we have our stockings hung up. We only had five of us here this year, but uh, we've got about, uh, we've got space for all the grandkids and their parents and Linda's sister and brother-in-law and a couple of extra spaces for anybody else that shows up at Christmas time. Um, the white rack is attached to our mantle. You can see what I did here is uh, screwed a board then ran it across the mantle and then I just have a clamp that holds it on either end. Well, the thing I wanted to show you is this is the area where we'll have those two cabinets that I've been working on. And uh, I build, the way I do it is I build a two by four base. But here, what I have is I have a heat register that'll be underneath the cabinet. And I want to be able to get the heat out. So I uh, got my cabinet framed out and then I put in some MDF and uh, on three sides, I will take this three eighths inch piece of plywood and I'll screw it down. Now, the reason I'm doing that instead of just leaving it open and hope the air comes out this way is in case the cabinet doesn't sit exactly flush on this frame, I'll at least have a passageway where the air will get trapped and can't seep up in between the cabinet uh, cavities. And then it'll come out through the front. And I'll put this in here like this and uh, that will uh, but of course in front of this will be this board here which is going to be our baseboard that'll go in here this will go in front of the baseboard um, one of the problems I have is I trimmed this lumber down a bit and I took about an eighth of an inch off and so this piece here ends up being a little bit proud so what I'm going to have to do is on the bottom of my cabinets figure out where this will come in and then I'm going to have to put a little saw kerf at the bottom of the cabinet so that this slips into that spot there and I don't have to then bend it or cut it or anything like that. But uh, that's the, uh, the cabinet base. And this will be the baseboard. And of course, it will get, uh, what it'll do is it'll cover up those two by fours. And then here, and somewhere in here we'll cut out the center and we'll wrap it around so you probably won't hardly even see that baseboard when it's in and attached but that's the that's how this is going to work um, over on this side we'll have a cabinet that'll be about 70 inches long and uh, I'll have it divided into three doors. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, Linda is, I'll uh, take you downstairs in, in another next video. Linda has been working on um, varnishing and staining the two cabinets that we have built here. Thanks for following our progress.